President Duterte, welcome to Israel. Welcome to Jerusalem. Uh, we uh, mark that uh, this is the first visit by our President of the Philippines in the history of Israel. It is deeply appreciated. We remember the exceptional role of the Philippines that received Jewish refugees during the Holocaust. We remember that the Philippines was the only Asian country that voted for the establishment of the State of Israel in the UN resolution in 1947. Mr. President, we remember our friends. And that friendship has blossomed over the years, and especially over the last few years. We're going to sign here today three important agreements in trade, in science, and no less important, in caregiving. There has been a remarkable phenomenon in Israel where thousands and thousands of families have taken heart from the support given by Filipino care workers to the elderly. I am one of those families, Mr. President. My late father, who died at the age of 102, in his later years, received incredible care by a, a caregiver from the Philippines, Lee, a woman of exceptional compassion and intelligence. She took care of my father's every need. And when he passed away, she took care of his brother's needs until he passed away. I, like many, many Israeli families, uh, am deeply moved by this uh, show of humanity. And today we're going to sign an agreement that will knock off as much as $12,000 from the cost of every caregiver. This is t money that is taken away from the caregivers and the families, the Israeli families, who so want their service. This is an exceptional agreement, uh, and it, I think, heralds the kind of friendship that we are developing. And so in that spirit, again, Mr. President, I welcome you to Israel. Welcome to Jerusalem. Welcome.